Welcome back gamers to another JGM Gaming video and we're back today with a, another Wrath Classic gold making video. If you've seen my videos before and you're wondering why I sound like this, it's because I've unfortunately caught the Rona. For those of you that are watching for the first time, welcome and enjoy my ill voice. Okay, let's get into this gold farm. Uh, it's surprisingly quite amazing and I really want to share it with you guys. So it takes place in Sholazar Basin and we'll be killing these Shatter Tusk Mammoths here all around this area around the Glimmering Pillar. So what we're mainly looking for here is the tasty meat of these mammoths known as Chunk O Mammoth. If you also have skinning then this farm is even better as you can gather up all the leather as well so that we're not wasting any part of the animal. I've stuck a stopwatch here on screen and I'll be spending half an hour here and then doubling what I make in order to work out a rough gold per hour for this farm. Some of these mammoths spawn in packs of about five or six at a time, which really speeds up this farm, especially if you're playing a class with some good AoE abilities. As a hunter, I'm just sticking down my traps, kind of kiting around those and relying on my lock and load procs to just kind of, you know, boom boom them down. I'll just speed through this here a little so you can kind of get a feel for the route that I take. The mammoths tend to be on the northeast and south of the Glimmering Pillar. Uh, on the west it's more of the dragons and stuff so you don't need to kill those. Um, on the sort of southwest there is the rhino Faroon, I believe his name is. You can kill him on your way past for some rhino meat which does sell pretty quick and for a, a couple gold each usually as well so it's nice to pick up on your route. You shouldn't really struggle with respawns here, there should always be mammoths available uh, and then obviously the packs of 5 or 6 like I mentioned will be respawning now and again as you're going around. Okay so we're just past the halfway point here, let's check how we're doing. We've got 2, 4, 6, 65 chunk of mammoth, 2, 4, 6, 76 borean leather, 12 chilled meat and 1 arctic fur. Here are those packs again that I spoke about, like I say just kiting them around my frost trap and stuff like that. Uh, now for eagle eyed viewers, I want to point out here my inventory got full, so I actually pause the stopwatch, I go and sell and then when I come back I unpause the stopwatch. So if you notice the time changed on the minimap, that's why I didn't cheat. <laughs> okay so we just vended all those greys and we got 28 gold, 27 silver. And we're back now and the clock is unpaused. Okay, we're just coming up to 30 minutes. Let's kill this final mob, see if we can get it just in time. Here we go, 54, 55, can we make it? Oh, perfect, look at that, bang on. All right, let's check out what we got. All right, let's uh, try and get some organization going on here. Stuff's all over the place. Uh, we got a few greens to move down here. Uh, this is kind of organized. So two, four, six, eight, ten, a hundred and three chunk of mammoths. Uh, Twenty six chilled meats. Let's move these boring leather up here. Two, four, six, eight, ten, hundred and twenty seven boring leather and one arctic fur. And then we got those two rhino meat, they're there, but it's a couple gold, nothing huge. And we got like five greens, I'll total those up at the end as well for the gold value of those, because I don't have enchanting to disenchant those. If you do, you might be able to make even more gold. Alright, we've ended the other junk that we got for Nigel 67, that gives us a grand total of 37 gold, 94 in just vendor junk. I'll put all these... Uh, amounts at the end so we can get the full grand total of everything combined. Now what you want to be using the chunk of mammoths for is turning them into spiced mammoth treats. As you can see here it increases the strength and stamina of a pet by 30 so people like me, a hunter, will be needing these and of course we can create 103 of those with our northern spices which you can easily get from the cooking daily. You can buy them if you need to, but obviously that's going to eat into your profits, so I wouldn't really recommend that. I would recommend just doing the cooking daily, and you can get a bunch of these on a bunch of characters very quickly. So obviously I'll speed through this because you don't want to watch me make 103 of these, and I'll catch you when they're all made. Okay, here we are on my bank guy. 
and we're going to price these up. So obviously I have five stacks of these. Well, let's just see. One is currently selling for four gold 65. So obviously times that by 103. And we get 479 gold 80, which I'll round up to 480 for simplicity's sake. I'll round all these up or down just to make it easy round figure at the end. So the Arctic fur, when it scans, is selling for 18 gold 10. Quite low, I would say. Uh, the chilled meat here, let's see what this is selling for, 7 gold, 82. So the chilled meat total here is 10 gold, 18 silver, so we'll call that 10 gold. The Borean leather here selling for 10 gold, 83 per stack. And we have a good few stacks of those, which brings us to 68 gold, 82, so we'll call that 69. The rhino meat, we just have two of those, I'll call that 1 gold each, and so we'll say 2 gold. Uh, the greens we have here, let's go vendor those and we'll tally up what that gets us. So we got this uh, pair of gloves here for 2 gold 6, this axe for 12 gold 17, uh, pole arm 11 gold 90, a belt for 355 and a ring for 373 which gives us a total of 33 gold 44 silver so we'll round that down and say 33 gold. And then, so that gives us a grand total for the 30 minutes we were there of 650 gold. So if you're there for a full hour, we'll times that by two, which gives us roughly 1,300 gold per hour. So I'd say this is a really good farm, and it's a really simple farm as well. You can stick Netflix on the other screen, just go around and AFK your brain while you kill some mammoths, and uh, yeah, really easy. So I hope you like this video. If you did and you like videos like this, please do consider subscribing to the channel. And you can see here the meat's already selling. So just an all-round great farm. All right, guys, I'll catch you in the next one.